Hello everyone. Hey, just want to share some some helpful stuff with with you about this toner. This toner is a Mirtek uh, toner, and that is spelled uh, right here. Mirtek toner. And this is uh, TS twenty five fifty, but this will also work with some other variants that are older. Uh, not not newer. I think the new ones use chips, but if you got one of these oldies, these golden oldies here, there's the models. 2590, 2570, 2550, and I think that also includes 2550, 1450. It's not written here, but that's the same. It's the same one. They just changed the box. So, you know, so you see, you're you're out of toner. It's yelling at you. Hey, I need more toner. But toner's not anywhere to be found. You don't. You can't get one for a day or more. You're up the creek. What do you do? Well, there's nothing you can do. You can't shake it. Shaking's not going to do anything still not going to work so the way these little guys work you pull them out of your machine you know they slide out um, over here on the back side there's a little thingy these little wires they are for a fuse so in that plastic there's a little fuse there but you don't gotta you don't gotta take this out you can if you want you can do a little, little flathead screwdriver take that out there's a little fuse in there and so what I could do before I bought, I went and bought fuses off DigiKey. Um, you know, they're just a little glass fuse. They kind of look a little bit something like this, a little bit smaller. So you can get something like that, but you can also use a paperclip. And the only reason why you can use this, um, you gotta be careful because you know, do this at your own risk because there's electric current in the machine. But you should be safe. You only want to put. You want to try to suspend this in here between these two wires. You're going to bridge them. So when you plug this in, it's going to push in the machine and then connect. But you only want to like. You want to close the door, put the toner in. It'll handle you know, the little spinny wheel thing. You're good. Open the door, take the toner out. You put it in too long, it'll throw an error code at you, and then no one, no one's happy. You know, because they're like, hey, you're breaking the machine. But anyway, another way, another thing you could use. You could probably put, as long as you avoid these gears, uh, which I probably could. Get some aluminum foil and not this thing. Don't put it here. Careful. But just over these two guys, these two wires. Yes. I forget which one's the positive, negative, but yeah, whatever. Put put something across there, or actually, just get some aluminum foil and shove it in there. You could do that too. This this comes off. So you do that. You throw it in your machine. Make sure you take it out, though. You got to take it back out when you're done. So remove the metal. If you got a fuse, you're good because it'll blow and you're you know be done. And it'll think you put a new toner in. Now y your copies might look like garbage because it's light and all, but uh, hey, at least you ain't down. You can get some prints done and get some little more life out of this thing. I will note though, if you open this toner, come on, focus, and you see a bunch of dirt in your machine, it's all black down here you're gonna wanna make sure your roller doesn't have a groove in it this one's good I think it's mostly new you get a groove in here it'll dump toner in your machine and it will ruin you good so defective uh, they kinda said supposedly fixed that there's no new number there's no new part number so eh thanks guys uh, thanks <laughs> thanks Meritech uh, you know helping us out with that one anyhow just uh, just remember that you know, that might get you out of a pinch. Uh, anyway, try not to shake these, too. Once you put these in, there's no waste bottle on these machines, so it'll dump the garbage toner in the back. And uh, so you don't want to shake it up, because then you'll, get, you'll make your, your gray prints even worse. So just a tip. Alrighty, guys. Have a good one. Uh, take care.